Hey guys, Jeremy Cruz here. In this video, you're gonna learn how to color grade like this. Just kidding, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna make a nice little subtle color grade. The comment that I get the most on my videos is, how do you color grade? Teach me how to color grade. Your color grading looks so nice. So that's what I'm gonna be showing in this video. I'll just show you my basic knowledge of color grading. I'm not a color grading expert or anything. So bear with me with terms and stuff like that. I'll just show you how I do it and hopefully you can learn a little bit from that. I'm gonna be using Final Cut Pro, but the tools I'll be using, I know they also have in DaVinci Resolve and in Adobe Premiere. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on your scopes. Um, however you do that in your program. This is how you do it in Final Cut, show the scope pezos. And then I'm gonna click this so you know I have more room to view the video. And the scopes that I use are the histogram here and then also the vector scope. So you can do like a double view on Mac. I know you can do that. So here we have the histogram. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use the color wheels to adjust the uh, shadows. So click on the shadows. And then you can see the bottom part of the histogram moving up and down. So you want it to like kind of be at zero and you don't want to push it too far where it like, see how it flattens out right there. You don't want to push it that far, but just enough. So actually the, I, it's pretty good actually. So I don't really have to adjust it. And then the highlights is the next one. So I'm going to bring those up to 100 and where does it flatten out? So that's where it flattens out. I like to have it just under where it flattens out, like right there. Whoa, that's pretty bright though when I look at the image. So I'm like, I don't want it to be that much. I'll bring it down just a little bit. And then you have your midtones. So your midtones, uh, just kind of adjust it like where you want it, but like look at the histogram as well. So I'm just gonna kind of adjust it there. Um, this kind of just takes a lot of practice. Just practice, see what looks good to you, uh, what you enjoy, what you think looks good. Yeah, drop the highlights just a little bit more here. And then also my saturation looks good to me. I don't exactly know where on the vector scope you wanna have your saturation levels, but like with master saturation, ooh, oh, black, black and white. Ooh, super much black and white. Um, with the picture profile that, I that I'm using, I actually don't adjust the saturation too much. So I'll just leave it as is. And then after that, what I do is do a little sort of orange teal color grade, a very subtle orange teal color grade. And the way I do that is I drop the shadows to a tealish, bluish, tealish, bluish, to tealish, bluish, like that. And then mid-tones, I bring them up to like oranges, orangish yellow, in between yellow and red. Correct, the mundo? Yeah. So that's your basic uh, thingy. Um, highlights, usually just don't even move those. So yeah, and again, play with these tools, see what looks good to you. And then what I'm gonna do is go into the color curves. And what I'm gonna do here is actually kind of crush the highlights. It kind of makes the highlight roll off a little bit smoother. Um, so if you look at my face, uh, and I'll turn this on and off, ready? Off, see how the highlights are kind of harsh and I turn it on, it kind of softens the highlights. So that's what I do with the curves, just to do that. And then the last thing I'm going to do is fix the skin tones or adjust the skin tones. So with that, we're going to use the hue saturation curves and the hue versus hue curve. So your skin tones are right about here. So that's where the skin tones are. I'll make a dot after it and then another dot on the other side of it so that I can adjust the skin tones. Ooh, I'm purple. Ooh, I'm orange. I'm a Cheeto. Anyways, okay, so I'll leave it there. And what, so about there is the skin tones. So, if you see here on the vector scope, let's, let's singleize this so it's bigger. So for now, we're gonna be looking just at the vector scope. This line right here is the skin tone line. That's where you want your skin tones to lie. Right now, they're, this is the skin tones. So whatever you, see how that moves that line there? 
you're gonna wanna bring that down to the skin tone line. So what you're gonna do is hold down shift on your keyboard so that you can't move this left and right anymore, you just move it up and down. So you have your skin tones there, and then what I'm gonna do is just adjust it like so it doesn't kind of on the line, but doesn't look crazy bad. And then I'm gonna put another dot here because I'm gonna adjust this dot because this also needs to be adjusted. It's like the reddish colors, like lips color. I usually bring that down a little bit. So, and then you have to play with it again. See now this part went under the line. So I'm gonna bring this back up towards the line. See that? This is a little too much. Bring it up a little bit. Again, you're gonna wanna play around with this. I'm just trying to show you here how I do it. So to make the skin tones look more as they should be. I'm gonna adjust the yellow too, cause it's not quite hitting yellow. So I'll adjust it so it's, it's yellower yellow. But sometimes if you want the grade to look, sometimes you want your yellows to look more orange. It looks a little more cinematic. It's kind of how they do it in the movies. And then if you want your blues a little more teal, you're gonna bring your blues up just a tiny bit, but I'm not gonna bring it up too much. See, you can bring it all the way up and then it changes the blues to like super teal or green even. I'll bring it just a tiny bit up, just a, just a smudge. And guys, that is pretty much it. That's how I color grade my footage right now. So let's see what it looks like before and after. So nothing on it, and now with it. Yeah, what do you think? Before and after. Yeah, this is a very subtle color grade, and hopefully it familiarizes you a little bit to the tools that you can use for color grading just by doing this simple color grade. So then from this, you can go ahead and play with those tools and try to make color grades that you like. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'll just copy this color grade to a few more clips I have in the timeline. And then we're, what I usually do is I just adjust the skin tones after that. So let's copy this, Command C, and then to paste it, Command Shift V, so I can choose what to paste, what attributes to paste. So I'll just paste it on. And then what we're gonna do is check the skin tones. Whoa, this shot is pretty cold. So let's say I wanna adjust the color temperature. I just do that in the color wheels. Adjust it, oh, too much tint of green. So I'm gonna add magenta, magenta. And you see how this also affects the skin tones when you do magenta tint and green tint. So I just adjust it so that it's sort of on the skin tone line. And there we go, we warmed up that clip. So that's all the adjustments I'm gonna fix on that clip. Everything else is the same, color curves, hue saturation is all the same. So let's check the before and after. Before, after. Okay, check the skin tones here. Well, look at that, it's kind of off the line. So let's adjust them. Adjust, adjust. Oh, there we go, we fixed it. And like, if you don't like the couch that's so green, you can adjust it. Let's make it a different cool eye, different color. So it's about this color here, right? Ooh, we can make it super green like, like that. Ooh, that kind of looks cool. Or we can do the opposites, make it blue. You can make it a little bluish. So yeah, just play with the tools and uh, make it look like the way you want it to look. This one looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, I like this one. It's on the skin tones pretty well. I'll just adjust it a tiny bit there. I think the skin tones is the most important part of the color grading because that's what people see and are like, eh, that looks weird. His, why does his skin look like he's dead or something, you know? So you want to kind of keep as much as possible, keep your colors of the skin tones on that skin tone line. All right, now let's do something else. Let's say you have some LUTs, right? So I'm going to delete all my color grade on this clip. Okay, so let's just drag on, like let's say you downloaded a free LUT and you put it on, you're like, oh my gosh, that looks weird. It's like so much contrast, so much, it's just too much for me. You're like, what do I do? It doesn't look good. Okay, first thing you can do is adjust the intimacy of the clip, not the intimacy, adjust the, adjust the intensity of the clip. So you can bring it down to like 50, 40, 50, etc. So let's say, oh, I kind of like how it looks here. And then you look at the skin tone line, and it's like, oh, it's a little bit off. 
So what you're gonna do is just fix the skin tones on that LUT. So again, I'm gonna, skin tones are right about here. I'm gonna make these dots and then let's adjust the skin tone as. So, okay, there we go with the thing. And then with the reddish, the reddersons. Ooh, why do I look like a Cheeto? So there we go. That's basically what you wanna fix with each LUT that you apply. You're gonna wanna fix the skin tones. Hopefully this helps you at least a little bit to understand the tools for color grading. Uh, it might seem a lot if you're just starting out, but yeah, just go ahead, play with these tools. What's gonna help you the most is just practice. So just keep color grading. I'm still learning a ton about color grading. I'm not an expert, but thank you for giving me a lot of comments about you guys liking my color grades. Let me know if you wanna see any more tutorials if, or if you have questions about this one please let me know and I'll hopefully be able to answer them. I made LUTs a few weeks ago, which I gave out for free. So make sure to look at that in my channel. And if you want me to make more LUTs, let me know. Do you enjoy them or what? Or what? Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.